One of my favourite things in Stardew Valley is the fact that we can play multiplayer with friends. And in this new 1.6 update, we now have the option on PC to play with up to 8 people, which is amazing. And with that awesome feature comes some brand new cabin styles for your friends. Today we're going to build them, check them out, compare them and see which one is my favourite. And when I next stream and play on this farm, I'm going to invite some members to come and check out their brand new cabins. Let's go to Robin and let's take a look. But before we do that, I want to announce that this video is sponsored by Midas Merge. Midas Merge is a free fun merge game where you can discover and nurture adorable creatures and gardens all while enjoying the magical fantasy of Midas Merge. It is a free to play game with no ads to interrupt you and you can even play offline on your phone no matter where you are, which is super handy because this game is darn addicting. In the story, you will join King Midas and Queen liar as they go on a journey to restore the gardens of gold. You will need to hatch new creatures and feed them with magical items to create some bursts and illuminate the land covered in shadows cast by Nyx, the goddess of night. Their story runs kind of deep so when you dive into the game there is tons to discover about the lore. Plus you can combine different kind of creatures and unlock new evolutions. You can even use the vault of riches to find unique treasures like decorations and improvements to your garden. I love this game because it's super cozy and it's very relaxing, perfect for unwinding after a long day. Check it out for yourself, download Midas Merge by clicking the link down in my description and thank you again to Midas Merge for sponsoring this video, but let's get back to it. So if you go to construct farm buildings, go over to the cabins, for example the stone one here used to be 100 gold, if you now change appearance. So the original three was the stone, the birch wood and then the log cabin, but now we have this cute one, it looks like almost like a rose pink very very cute we also have this rundown rustic one which would be awesome for a certain playthrough in a certain farm for example the survival series that i did this would have been amazing it looks so good and then we have another kind of log cabin i'm getting kind of like a swamp vibe with this one very very nice i love it and lastly probably my favorite is the trailer just like pam how amazing is that so for 100 gold we're gonna build this these are instant as well and we are now going to have a trailer on the farm it looks awesome and the fact that some of your friends can hang in there live in there is so good i'm gonna build all four of them because i want to see them in all their glory i love this one this one looks adorable let's do this copper pan spot because i might be able to get a lucky ring for you guys on camera while i'm recording no we didn't it's always worth a try though right i want to see if the interior is any different no they're all the same let me know down below out of the four which one is your favorite. This is the rundown one. I think this looks so fitting with uh, my two slimes here that are immortal. They never die. If you don't know and you didn't watch the stream, these two slimes appeared at night time. But when I woke up in the morning, they never died. They stayed alive, which is obviously odd. That's a glitch. They should disappear when you wake up in the morning. So they are very rare. We've called them Flubber and Bluey. That one looks awesome. And then I think this is my personal favorite. So unique and different to what we used to. We've actually got a trailer. I wish this actually changed the interior inside, but that's all good because it just looks so amazing having this on the farm. So unique. We are literally out here living like Pam and Penny until they get their house. And lastly, I've moved this one up here. This is just almost like a rustic, just a, a normal wooden cabin rather than being logs which is very awesome. This one does kind of remind me of like a, a swamp. I get the swamp vibes. But if you don't play with friends and you don't play multiplayer, not to worry because you can still build these cabins. These cabins have amazing uses. You don't need them just for your friends. So one thing you can do is move all the furniture, have an empty cabin, if you are not planning to play with friends, that is. The only thing you can't move is the bed or the starter package. But you could use this as some kind of storage room. You can put kegs in here, preserve jars or you can even decorate it and create a nice little themed room you can make so many different ideas out of this i do believe you can get a mod which actually moves the bed if you really want that space and all you need to do is get someone to join at least once just to remove the starter package here and you'd have an empty room or get a friend to come and join and remove the bed as well because they can actually remove and pick up their bed you can't do that to, to their beds so that's if you want a, a real empty almost like a little shed it's like a mini shed you can definitely put these to good use and they look adorable. They look amazing. 
I personally am going to use this trailer as my new storage room. I'm going to come and move all of my chests that I have one by one and this is going to be where I store everything. I'm going to label everything, I'm going to have signs. Because one amazing thing you can do now is actually build something called a tech sign, which is really, really cool. So you can come up with some awesome ideas. Something like this guys, I've wrote on this and behind this sign is a chest and I've called it wood and stone. So you just highlight over it and it will tell me what is in there. A great way to make space of these cabins if you are not playing with friends on multiplayer. Something like that might be even better. So you just highlight over the chest literally and it will tell you what it is. And you can have a full row go in there. That is so, so cool. But that is it. Just a quick short one showing off the new cabin variants. I love them. It's a little simple but nice touch for your friends to give your farms a little bit more of a unique look as well. Not the same three cabins that we're always getting. Let me know down below which one's your favorite. Stick around for the next video. I'm going to be showing all of the new 1.6 content for you guys. So subscribe so you don't miss anything. Stick around for the next one. But until then, stay safe and stay cozy.